we have this understanding that social media is maximizing our time online because they're making billions of dollars off of advertising for us, right? So it's our eyeballs looking at ads and that's making them money. And so the question is, how is this business model translating into this AI companion world? Instead of selling ads, it's actually about using user data to then create feedback loops into training the underlying AI models that power these companion bots. So they're incentivized to keep users online longer, to keep you chatting with those chat bots so that they can pull more of your data and use that data to then further train and fine tune their AI models. What we've really learned is that the harms that are stemming from this product are systemic to the design of the product itself, whether it's prompting for self-harm, promoting violence, highly sexual interactions, kind of the slew of terrible things that you could imagine on the internet. All of this is by design. It is all because of the way that Character AI decided to design, operate, and market their product to young people. In order to develop this type of product, you need talent, you need capital, you need compute, and you need data. Now, Character AI had a lot of these, right? But one of the things that they needed more of was data. So in order to get this data that they needed to further fine tune their models, they created a product that was super engaging, meant to keep people online longer interacting, just so that those interactions they could use to then fine tune and train their model and make it even stronger and even better. So it's not by accident that this is a highly engaging, deceptive product. It was that way because the incentives made it that way. So I would really recommend that parents take a look at kids' phones for this product, talk to your kids about how they're using it, whether they're using it, and open up that conversation about really what is the expectation when it comes to friendship? What is an expectation when it comes to relationships? Um, and when it comes to kind of like free time and how they might want to play and encourage more of that face-to-face -face interaction that is so critical for, for all of us.